Daryl Morey uh, initially said he planned to take a year off and, you know, gave it the obligatory, I'm going to spend some time with my kids. They're on a gap year. Uh, but Philadelphia uh, started pushing immediately to try to bring him to uh, the Sixers. They got that done. Uh, they're just finalizing the language in a deal now. And, you know, suddenly there's been a pretty – Pretty significant transformation in Philly. Daryl Morey is the president of basketball operations, is, is the title, I'm told. And obviously, Doc Rivers as head coach. Well, I mean, that happened so fast. What a monumental change for this organization. But it leads to the question, what happens to Elton Brand, who was the GM before? Where's his autonomy in making decisions? How's this trio going to work? Well, th there is no more autonomy for Elton Brand, and I'm not sure there ever was autonomy. This is an organization where there are a lot of voices. I, I think Elton Brand's going to be a, a general manager, a very good general manager in the NBA for a long time. I think he's going to run teams elsewhere. He's got a decision to make now, and he'll talk with Daryl Morey about whether he wants to stay and be a part of this. I know the organization values him. Want They want to keep him. They've been chasing a, a big-name uh, around the league to, to run their basketball operations back two years when they offered the job to Daryl Morey before they promoted Elton Brand uh, internally. Uh, essentially, Daryl Morey used it to leverage uh, for a new deal in Houston at that time. Uh, they pursued other top executives around the league, but uh, I, I think it remains to be seen in the short term what Elton Brand is going to do. Uh, listen, I think he did under very difficult circumstances. Uh, you know, he was thrown into the fire in Philadelphia, uh, taking over the team when he did. Uh, I think he's going to be better for the experience down the road. And uh, right now, though, this is going to be Daryl Morey's show. They're, they're going to give him, he's getting a big contract, I'm told, and, and he's going to have that, uh, you know, to make the decisions. Uh, and I think along with Doc Rivers' input, certainly as head coach, uh, about how they're going to proceed in Philly. Well, let's just talk a little bit more about Dora Morey, former team, the Houston Rockets. They obviously hired uh, Stephen Silas as their head coach. What does this mean for Russell Westbrook and James Harden going forward? Well, listen, I, I think this is a difficult job to fill right now for Stephen Silas, uh, replacing Mike D'Antoni, who, you know, obviously uh, much more history there with James Harden than he did in the one year with Russell Westbrook's. But with Westbrook, but I, I think Harden and D'Antoni together really maxed out uh, their time together in terms of production. Uh, I think James Harden went to another level in D'Antoni's system. And now as an organization, and I think Steven Silas coming in, you know, you wonder whether this is a group that has maybe gone as far as it can go together. They went to the small ball last year. This is a team that's been to the conference finals under Mike D'Antoni there. Uh, in, a, in a very loaded Western Conference. Uh, this is a challenge for Steven Silas. He's earned the chance to be a head coach, uh, almost 20 years as an assistant, grew up in the game. Obviously, people know his legendary father, Paul Silas, is a, is a Hall of Fame player and a, and a very, very good coach in the NBA. Uh, and I think his time under Rick Carlisle, you talked to Steven Silas, that's really impacted him in Dallas. But this is a challenging job. Uh, and I think any success you're going to have with the Rockets is going to be built around your ability to connect with James Harden and Russell Westbrook. Well, how close were they to hiring uh, Jeff Van Gundy? <clears throat> they were close, uh, Key. They, they were uh, in talks with Van Gundy really over the last couple of weeks. And there were a lot of conversations uh, with ownership, with management, with him. In the end, I think for Jeff Van Gundy, the fit just didn't feel like it was there. You know, he he has continued to live in the city of Houston ever since he left there uh, as coach about 13, uh, 14 years ago. Um, it's home for him. I, I do think the job was intriguing, but ultimately not a fit uh, for, I think, a variety of reasons. I do think he'll coach again somewhere in the NBA. Uh, but Steven Silas was a candidate that they had been talking with Throughout this process, Daryl Morey interviewed him uh, four years ago when they hired uh, Mike D'Antoni. And so, uh, listen, he gets a, a well-deserved opportunity here uh, to run the Rockets. Well, let's get to the nitty-gritty. James Harden and Russell Westbrook owed $80 million next year. Those two, $80 million next year. 
if they are rebuilding, if that's the angle they're going, does James Harden want to stay in Houston? Or if they are rebuilding, is Russell Westbrook their tradable asset that they can use to entice to open up to bring other people to Houston for James to win a world championship in a packed West? I don't think the Rockets believe they are rebuilding. I think certainly... Uh, again, it's a group that was built in a lot of ways to play small ball for Mike D'Antoni. Uh, they got a lot out of Robert Covington and P.J. Tucker, uh, that group. But once they traded Clint Capella to Houston, to Atlanta, you know, this team became uh, certainly really small. They want to continue forward with these two players right now. Uh, listen, I think James Harden uh, is still at the very, very top uh, of the league, at the top of his craft. You know, Russell Westbrook, you know, if you, I don't know what the market would be for, for Russ at his contract um, in the league right now. Listen, they got, uh, they gave up a great deal to get him from uh, Oklahoma City. Multiple picks, multiple pick swaps in the Chris Paul trade. And, and so I think right now they're married to that, uh, to the idea of the Harden-Westbrook uh, duo, but you know, certainly things can change quickly in the league. And uh, this is a team, what I, I think a team and organization with a lot of pressure on it, you know, to continue to try to play at a high level. Or maybe you maybe uh, you are forced to make decisions. Maybe players start to make decisions about where they want to be. And so you know that when you, you're kind of walking a tightrope in the league, when you have a player of Harden's caliber, if the team falls off about what that player wants. But right now, you know, they're bringing in Steven Silas. They want to continue to contend. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus right now.